Hi, it's Gio again today. Welcome back to another video. In this video today, I thought I'd do a video because uh, about the different versions of the Citra 3DS emulator on Android. Now, there is two builds currently. Uh, obviously, they're unofficial. There is the version 0.51 and also the custom build. Now, I just thought, is the 0.51 custom build better than the, uh, sorry, the 0.51 build better than the custom build. So you see Citra emulator there at the top there, but that isn't the custom build, it is the 0.51. And as soon as you can see as we go in, you see it is blue. And you'll see the number there is different to the custom build. Uh, underneath there it says uh, 0F396. It's a different number on the custom build. So I thought the game would try, now I'm recording with DU Recorder, so performance will take a hit. But when I was testing it earlier, I was testing Mario Kart 7. And uh, even though it's, because I'm using the uh, Exynos 9820, um, if I had the Snapdragon, it would be faster. Uh, the Snapdragon 845 or 855, um, it would be a lot faster. But what I did notice, and I've gone past it. What I did notice was the I noticed the performance increase, even though it was by it was like some parts of the circuit I was on it increased by like seven FPS. No, all games don't increase, but I did see a difference um, in Zelda, albeit it was two, two or three FPS at some points in the game, but it did make it a lot more playable. So maybe it was it's, it's device orientated because I get a lot of questions asking, you know, the, it crashes, it will, it will crash. It's, it's uh, an unstable emulator. That's the problem with this uh, emulator, it's so unstable. The Sometimes your up and down, your D-pad don't work. Um, but you saw there, FPS, for me, I thought a lot more fluent, a lot more uh, FPS increase than um, the custom build. Now, whether that is to do with device, because it will, each device will, uh, whether it be a Samsung, it be you know, the other makes of phones out there, it will depend on how the phone is set up. Um, and also if you're on a Snapdragon or Exynos. So the, for me, it just looked better. And I thought if you want to make a, a comparison, um, I'll put a link in the description. You can see the other one, uh, the custom build, and you can make a comparison. So uh, let's test out another game. Um, Oh yeah, uh, let's go for Pokemon Y. Let's just see if that made any difference. 
Now, you notice there I am having to rotate the screen. It's weird. Ever since on custom build or um, the, the 0.5 one build, I still have to rotate it. I never did it on my Samsung. Uh, sorry, my Sony, but I seem to do it on uh, the Samsung phone. don't know why, but I have to rotate the phone, literally rotate it 90 degrees and bring it back. Now, I only got Pokemon to work, Pokemon Y, on my phone, was I used the save state from the laptop. Now, that's something you can do, folks. If you have got a laptop uh, or a desktop, you can you can transfer the save state over so it will go past it's the same you get the same issues when you're playing the yuzu emulator uh pokemon you need the save state to go past a certain point um sorry pokemon no uh yes pokemon let's go pikachu yeah sorry No, there's no sound. Don't know. Um, can't get any sound to work, but it does appear very slightly faster. It does seem a lot more fluent than the custom build. Uh, both builds still crash because it is an unofficial build it's not stable um even my ps3 emulator on windows it crashes so when so and even semu from time to time still crashes now and again on uh windows so nothing's ever perfect i have a video for that just to help you if you do get issues but yeah to make this work right at the beginning i have to rotate the screen on every game to it never comes up which is nothing really, just to rotate it. But so it does appear faster. It could be me, but it's something you can try out. So we'll come out of there. So there you go. Oh yeah, to come back of it, you just scroll up or whatever it is where you're coming in from. Right. So there you go. For me, it was a slight increase in some games. I haven't tested every game yet. But the I'll have a look at the settings. I didn't really go. I didn't really. I used a custom build when I got my phone, the Samsung Galaxy S10. So, but I'm back for this um, 0.51 build. So, try it out. I'll leave a link in the description for both builds. Uh, remember, for the custom build, it's no longer on the site because it gets it just gets deleted after six months. But I've left it in my Google Drive, folks. If you want to test out um, the custom build, so there you go. Uh, testing. I'm going to test out some more games. I'm going to try out some more games. I want to see if Tomodachi, uh, is it Tomodachi Life works on this? And uh, yeah, so uh, a lot of these games do run. And like I say, if they're not working, like I say, have a look at the video. If not, it's just possibly it could just be incompatible with your device. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more, and I shall see you soon. Bye for now.